strings have a lot to do with your tone. The NYXLs for me have always totally been great. I really need that friction to feel my slides. I depend on that friction even for accuracy. With that said, some of the guitar sounds are a little unconventional, and you're also, you know, doing a lot of work with synth and yeah. also <clears throat> steel. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's get right into it. Um, I know on the newer record, you know, you're. I, I read an interview in Music Radar that you're not playing as much guitar, mm -hmm. but it's you've got quite a few guitars out. So yeah, I mean, I think when Crosses started, I, I was just learning how to play piano. I, I was, you know, naturally a guitar player. And so I think I wanted to make synthy sounding songs, but I didn't know how to play synth. So I was like, well, how can I get my guitar to sound like a synth? Sure. So I just, you know, pedals and everything and tons of stuff and, you know, lap steel and, and, and everything. And then I think, you know, that was t 10 years ago. Right. And then I think naturally within that 10 years, I just learned to really how to play synth. And I think it just started influencing me more or not influencing me but more um inspiring me sure. to play synth and i was like oh now i can play like you know and i learned major seven chords and things like that and it's and, kind of the and, limit with synth and, world yeah and then but but then it's it, i don't know it always comes back to guitar like i mean definitely live is more fun to play guitar because i can you know run Oof. around a little bit more when i'm playing synth i'm stuck here right um but yeah like i think i think i'm always i'm always chasing sound um, you know, my sound is growing just because I, I feel like I'm, I'm always learning. Like I'm, I still want to learn more, you know, and, I, and I think that's, I don't know, one of those things where like, you know, if you stop, if you stop learning, then I think you stop progressing. You totally. Know? Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, did you take, you know, traditional piano lessons or was it something where you had keys at home and just really started getting into it? Yeah. I mean, really just sitting down at the piano sometimes learning other songs like other people's songs and and you know youtube of course is great for that YouTube is awesome. um, <laughs> but everything like and then you know once once in a while like i would start to learn stuff by ear on on piano which That's i used to do you know guitar. when i was younger as a kid on on guitar but Piano is a lot it's a lot harder i think to learn by ear unless unless that's what you play you right, know? right. But that's still i'm still learning on piano you know really yeah. so it, it you know it is what it is you yeah, know i also feel like you know once a guitarist or any instrument any instrumentalist really w starts to pay attention to piano and learn it mm -hmm. theory becomes so much easier to understand yeah um, i mean I, I mean this might make me sound kind of dumb but uh, you know i think it's important to say that that you know when i when i was playing guitar in far I didn't know what a minor chord or a major chord was because I played power chords. Just knew it sounded cool. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I grew up on like, you know, Helmet and Smashing Pumpkins and stuff like that, where major minor chords really weren't that important. So like, I, you know, I remember later on when I started doing like co-writing, like song sessions, and then uh, you know, uh, people were like, "Oh, that's a, that's a minor and that's a sus," and I'd be like in the room going like, oh. I have no idea what these people are talking yeah. about, but that's, I, I don't, I mean, I don't care, yeah. you know, because like, I think sometimes knowing too much can, can, hinder. can you yeah. know, because sometimes somebody that knows too much would be like, we, well, you, you know, well, you can't, you can't do that yeah. because it's not right. And it's like, well, dude, it, you know, it sounds good. You know, I mean, even going, touching on Chino, like the dude does never, he never sings in the scale, like the key of the song. He always borrows a note here and there, which is, I think, that's why people say his melodies are weird, you know, and they're, and they're, they're you know, out there in, in a good way, in a you know. In a, yeah, I think it's you know, beautiful so, how he kind of drifts in and out. Yeah, because you know? he, again, he doesn't, he doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, he'd probably get mad at me for saying that, but, but he doesn't, you know, in a beautiful way, he's very innocent to that. And he just, he just goes with what he hears, you know. Yeah, and it works. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all, that's the beauty of music. It's so, so objective. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I like most people would probably consider terrible and vice versa. You know what I mean? I think yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It's, it's all one of the things that brings us to where we are standing right now talking uh -huh. about it. I think that's so cool.